I remember when I was with special forces. Seems a thousand centuries ago. We went into a camp to inoculate the children. We left the camp after we had inoculated the children for polio. And this old man came running after us. He was crying. He couldn't see. We went back there. And they had come and hacked off every inoculated arm. There they were in a pile. A pile of little arms. And I remember I, I, I cried. I wept like some grandmother. I wanted to tear my teeth out. I didn't know what I wanted to do. And I want to remember it. I never want to forget it. I never want to forget. And then I realized, like I was shot, like I was shot with a diamond, a diamond bullet right through my forehead. And I thought, my God, the genius of that, the genius, the will to do that, perfect, genuine, complete, crystalline, pure. And then I realized they were stronger than we because they could stand that these were not monsters, that these were men, trained cadres, men who fought with their hearts, who had children, who had families, who were filled with love. And yet they had the strength, the strength to do that. If I had 10 divisions of those men, our troubles here would be over very quickly. You have to have men who are moral, but are also able to utilize that primordial instinct to kill without feeling, without passion, without judgment without judgment because judgment defeats us.